we spend an awful lot of time comparing ourselves with others. I don't know if you do this, but with people in your family or your neighborhood, keeping up with the Joneses is an expression we use sometimes, don't we? We make sure that we've, our houses are as good as them and our cars and our jobs and our lives. We, we often compare ourselves with others. You, you, try and think, you just think about that, how often in the week you're doing that. You know, the, way the, the way you're dressed. The holidays you're going to have this year. Where are you going for holiday? <laughs> Is it going to be as good as the next person? Uh, we, we live in a, in a culture that is dominated by comparison, don't we? More than ever. Why? Because of social media. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever else you might use. That's about it, isn't it? X, perhaps. Um, it's a matter of comparison. Uh, and it, it works both ways, doesn't it? Many times it makes us feel, and I, I do, I must confess, I, I largely avoid them, because I know how en easily I can become envious. You might be surprised to hear that pastors can f become envious. But we can, we're, we're just as temptable as the rest of you. And uh, pastors or preachers will, will say to themselves, uh, his preaching seems better than mine. His church is bigger than mine. And he's younger than I am. And I don't like that. So then you begin to feel inferior. And what social media does, oftentimes, is it makes you feel inferior. It makes you feel bad about yourself. Because you're not looking as good as that person, or feeling as good as that person apparently is feeling in that moment, in that snapshot when they're, they, they are smiling. And you're not going... To the, to, the, to the same place they're going on holiday. You're, not going to, you're just going somewhere lesser, as far as you're concerned. So we live in a world of comparison. This Pharisee lived in that world. He liked to look down on other people, so he chose his targets. Like the tax collector, and it was easy enough, wasn't it? To feel superior to the hated tax collector. Now, sometimes we, we look at our, our, our newspapers, don't we, maybe on our, either on our phone or the actual physical ones, and we see really bad things going on there, and it makes us feel good about ourselves. Maybe it makes us feel self-righteous. I'm better than these people. I don't behave like that. I wouldn't, wouldn't dream of doing something like that. Rape, murder, all of these terrible things that we read about. But comparing ourselves with other people, never a true measure of who we really are and what we really like. Never. The Pharisee didn't understand that. He lived in a world of comparison. Some days it probably made him feel 10 feet tall, other days uh, 2 inches tall. As he you can always find people who are doing better than you are. 